All right, my team's used to juice, so I'm going to ask you to leave and disappear for us. We're back with another episode under the lights, and tonight we have made the trip to the Utilita Stadium, which is home to Welling Garden City. Now, you would have seen them in our recent video at FC Romania. If you haven't watched it, make sure you go check it out. But tonight, they are taking on Kempston Rovers in the Southern League Central Division 1. It's the Citizens versus the Walnut Boys, so you know it's gonna be a cracker. The club was established in 1921, which means that they are celebrating their 100th year anniversary. To commemorate this, the home kit this season pays tribute to the first colours worn by Welling Garden City, which were red and white. <sighs> Get on that transition, TikTok. <gasps> Their most recent trophy was won in 2018, where they were crowned champions of the Spartan South Midlands Premier League division. And they won it with a last minute penalty. Get in there, you citizens. dugout has got all the materials. It is built with a brick base. It's got a wooden structure with plastic coverings and on the top we've got a corrugated iron sheet to make sure all the rain drops down the back. Inside the dugout they've got two rows of seating and two double glazed windows. It's got a bit of a garage vibe going on but it has got all the seeds. It's compact, it's cosy and got plenty of character. Squeeze! Let me tell you about the seating arrangements. There are plenty in the Eileen Hazel stand and they've also got some cool lettering designs. You can see the WGC from the sky. But if you're a fan that likes to stand on their feet with a roof over the head, then just by the clubhouse is the scaffolded terrace. The total capacity is 3,000 and if you're making your way to the ground via the train station, it's a 37 minute walk. Evening sir, I'm Dan, tonight's match referee at Welling Garden City, come on in. Welcome to our crib for the evening. These are my assistants, James and Chris. Let me give you a guided, quick guided tour. Here we have the shower, where we're hoping for hot water after the game. A few match footballs, sink, plenty of fluids, and this is what we got to deal with tonight. All right, my team's used to juice, so I'm going to ask you to leave and disappear for us. Time for another pitch review and tonight we've got a professional in to help us out. This is Harry who works for the club but also has an apprenticeship at Tottenham Hotspur. Harry, what a gig. How did it come about? What's the day look like for you at Tottenham? Basically, mum said look for a job in the football industry because I'm quite football related and the first thing that came up was a Tottenham groundsman. So applied for it, 208 people applied. They only took on three apprentices and luckily enough I was one of them. Started in June. Base at the training ground, but at the moment I'm at a stadium, heading back to the training ground in December. What do you have to do to the pitch on a weekly basis? We cut it near enough every day, maybe double cut it. If it's got a bit of moisture on the leaf like this has tonight, we'll get a drill brush out, make, push all the moisture off just before we cut it so it's safe the pitch getting to seeds. Look after the pitch, make sure it's prepped for the, for the big dogs, the Prem Premier League boys. Well, that's Tottenham's pitch. More importantly, this is Welling Garden City's pitch. What do you make of it? It's playable, you can play on it. A bit bobbly in places, but our under 23s manager does a magnificent job by himself. He does it all voluntarily out of his own sort of own time, for fun, he enjoys it. And what sort of day-to-day -day stuff would be done to a pitch like this? Pitch like this, Welling, cut it you probably would roll it. There's a couple of times where we've got contractors out to 30 drain it, get some holes in to aerate the, aerate the pitch, help it breathe, help it stop getting waterlogged. And Rich also has a, a bunch of volunteers that come out with their own garden forks. Not like what you see on Premier League half <laughs> time. You heard it halfway through there, Harry is giving this pitch an official rating of playable. Right, this shouldn't take too long. There is plenty of text on this crest. They've got WGC at the top there, which stands for Welling Garden City. And if you couldn't work that out, they've got it written across this blue ribbon. Underneath that, they've got their nickname, the citizens, and the date they were established, which was 1921. That was simply the crest. Guys, we wait 
team, heads or tails? Heads it is, cross ends or kick it is. Swap ends, you have to kick off. Yep. Best change round, please, fellas! All the best, lads, yeah. once again. Hey, All guys. the best. Have a good one, guys, have a good one. Palatable. Flavorful. Welling Garden City, he sent me Phil. So Ben, you won the league with Welling. Yeah. And then you left to Berkhampstead. <laughs> Why was that? I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, basically it was just due to sort of the situation with the club at the time and sort of the ambitions of Berko at the time as well. And sort of had a bit of a top, bit of a time off playing football for a few weeks. And then Berko sort of contacted me saying, you know, we want you to come in and play for us. So um, yeah, it was a little bit of location at the time, going to Burke Hampstead, but then obviously then moved back to Welling recently, so it made it easier for me to come back to Welling, basically. You're a fan favourite of the club as well. I read it online. How good does it feel to be back? Yeah, it's really good. Like, as I said previously, I live literally around the corner two minutes away. The people here, like the club means well. Um, the people around the club, obviously the supporters and people that work to volunteer, obviously if we don't have them, this club doesn't survive, basically. And you scored the winner in the FA Trophy first round yeah. against Carl Short, and what a feeling, mate. Yeah, honestly, uh, the best feeling, like those sort of moments in the trophy, for especially our level of football, they're the best for us. And it was, yeah, it was a really, really good moment for me. Great performance in the league tonight. What are your aims for the season? I think for now we've got to look to, to the Wolves to playoffs. I think is as a realistic goal at the start of the season we thought we'd be right up there but we've missed a lot of players through either injury or Covid. It's just the way the season is at the moment um, and we want it to be higher than we were. We're very stop start at the moment so we've looked to aim for playoffs I think now and, and see where we can go from there. And if you could liken yourself to one player, past or present, who would you base your game on? Uh, I'm going to go with Dennis Wise. Oh really? Yeah, I'm a Chelsea fan and I think that's a little bit of my game. Uh, get around, put a couple of challenges in, break up the play. So I'm not going to go with like a gas corner, so that would be like a Dennis Wise. <laughs> Gregadina, forward. Don't even like football. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Jordan Watson, DMs. Cam Taylor, winger. Oh! Oh! 
Thomas Daniel, middle wings. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Alright, leg weights. Surely you have to go get them. Sarah, <coughs> shall we Forward. <laughs> oh! Oh! It has oh. to be. Oh, 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 lucky. 